Hey, so welcome to Learning to Wood with Pierre. Yes, new name, new logo, the works. The last few weeks I've been thinking about this stag while it's close to me and it has a lot of geeky elements because it stems from sort of a D&D session we had. Um, it doesn't really fit to what this is. It's not, I didn't just do geeky things. So I decided to actually change it all up um, and give it a much better name. So yes, I hope you like the look. So as mentioned, I've spent about a week and a half, two weeks trying to figure out what the new name could be. Um, thanks to Thomas, who's helped me tons. We had multiple hours of conversation around this. We came up with a name only to find out at that point after Googling it that it already existed. So back to the drawing board and ultimately we came up with this. I hope you like it. I know it's simple. Um, it's a bit fun. I hope it conveys that. At least for me, I think it's pretty cool. Also, I would like to thank Jordi, who's helped me with all the fancy graphics and all the logo and that. He's a fantastic artist um, and a very good friend of mine. So thank you so much, Jordi. I know he spent countless hours in the evenings working on this. And without him, you know, I must probably just love the whole logo, to be honest. But thanks for that. I, I will show some progress um, of, of the images. Like, you know, I'm very picky. He's very picky. So there was a lot of to and fro and what's up. So I'm going to blend in some of the progress we did um, just so you can see sort of the process behind it. Um, it was great fun. And here we are. I've got a fantastic new logo. So one of the segments I want to do on this channel is this new segment that allows me to do some communication that's not project related or vaguely project related or stuff that didn't fit into the projects and I think that will be a nice way to just sort of keep up to date where I am, what's going on. Let's see if it's useful. I think, please tell me if, if you find it's not. And one of the things that I want to use is also to get some feedback and also interact with the community. So the first thing I kind of wanted to ask is, I always worry about the length of my videos. So normally they between 15 to 20 minutes, that's sort of the goal I have, but I wonder if that's too long, too short. I don't know what everyone feels about it. I found, especially in the shelves part two, I was worried I wouldn't get enough content. And, and arguably I got enough content, but it might've been not as humorous as the one before that. Obviously less went wrong, so that's a good thing for me, but maybe that's not as entertaining. So one of the things I already tried is to sort of cut down the length of all the fast forwarding sections, but I think any feedback from you would be great on that. The other thing I wanted to do with the community is sort of get more involvement and interaction with, with all of you. I know mostly it's my friends and family watching at this point, um, but I think it would be cool to have sort of some interaction. So one of the things I wanted to do this time around is um, sort of try and get your involvement by giving you the opportunity to choose the color of my router table. So at some point, I will have to color all of this. And right now I'll blend it in, it's sort of red and white and that looks quite smart, but I thought, hey, if I get 75 subscribers, why don't I let you all choose what color it should be? So the, the key points we can color is, is sort of the main door, so these boxes, as well as the drawers and the base. The top I can't really change in color because um, I'm gonna use that vinyl and the only vinyl I have is that white. So sorry about that, but for the rest, you guys are more than welcome to choose. So what I'd really like in this episode, if you can just sort of put a comment and I would say, yeah, let's use hashtag, hash, hash, hash. Let, <clears throat> let me try that again. So I think what the best approach would be is use hashtag color router table and then put the two colors. So the first color being for the, these components and the second color for the drawers and the rest as in the picture. And then, should I hit 75 subscribers before I finish the router table, we will let you vote which combination I should make and pray to God I don't get too much pink or luma green or something like that. Talking of the router table, we're going to put that project on hold for yet another week as my wife wants another project for the kitchen. So. Actually, she wants two projects, but the second one can wait. This one is a chalkboard. We want a big chalkboard to hang on one of the walls where we can take notes and stuff, and I can pretty much draw naughty pictures that are inappropriate. And I'm gonna be doing that first, but hopefully that'll be just one video, because I really think that one should be easy. Knock on wood. Um, but I know I'm keen to get, well, I'm at least keen to get on with the router table, I don't know how you feel about that. The good news is for the router table, I got a delivery today. Um, I use a Chinese supplier for some things because they're just much, much cheaper or I can buy less quantity of. For, for example, this cup, this coupling bolt, I, um, I only could buy 30 
here in Spain in a go and they're like four euros each so I was like no I'm not gonna pay that and I managed to find this online um, and I could buy one for two euros and I've got various things from the stands for the router table so this this will be used for the the feet which is probably in the next router table episode I'll use that and then this this sort of thing is, is just like a handle so instead of using those butterfly bolts you can use this to tighten things and when you lock in fences and so forth pretty cool uh, but I'll show you all of that in episodes but the best thing that came my favorite thing is this router table insert plate. So the idea is you mount the router table to the back, you set it in the table and that's what holds the router in place. And um, the reason you need these is because you know they're guaranteed flat and also they have, th well this one at least has this, this insert that I can take out and then easily change the bit in the router, which makes that super, super useful. And it was advertised as gold, but all the pictures looked this orange. So I was really worried that it would actually be gold, but this orange is actually pretty cool. So I think, I think that'll look really awesome, at least I hope. Um, I'm still waiting on some T-tracks and stuff for the router tail, but all of that is used much, much later. So I think I'm good to go. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is I got this um, safety switch. So it's a power switch for the router table. The idea is you plug an extension cable in there and then the router table up here, and then you have safety buttons. So this is much better. My previous router table had like light switches and that's not very safe because you can accidentally switch it on like it's happened a few times. Here you need to use quite a lot of force to switch it on and very little force to switch it off. So very happy with that. And that pretty much sums up the news. This is way shorter than the normal videos in terms of recording at least. We'll see post editing. But um, I hope you enjoy the new look. Um, I surely do. So I'm super happy. Hopefully I'll be able to make some stickers that I can send out to anyone who wants any. Um, and maybe even do some giveaways with t-shirts at some point. Um, at the very least, I'm going to make myself and Jordi and, and Thomas and a few others some t-shirts for sure. But um, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Any messages? Um, I love reading the comments. I know I don't get a lot, um, but the ones I do get, I really, really enjoy. So, yes, I hope to see you soon. One more thing. Please subscribe and like. Catch you later. So, uh, I'm just gonna record me tidying up and this is for you, Ben. Because you, you seem to enjoy it last time, so. <laughs>